All right, so here's our quiz review for factoring polynomials. If we take a look at number one here, we have x squared plus 12x plus 32. So we notice that our a value is one and that everything is positive. So this means that our factor is going to be x plus something times x plus something because everything is positive. So now what are we looking for? We're looking for two numbers that multiply together to make 32 and add together to make 12. And that is going to be 8 and 4. 8 times 4 is 32, and 8 plus 4 is 12. Now, since both of these are positive, it doesn't matter where we put the 8 or where we put the 4. And so this is the correct answer. All right, so let's take a look at number 2 here. We have a squared minus 2a minus 15. Look at the third term. We see that it's negative. Remember that the third term comes from multiplication. So if we multiply two numbers together and get a negative answer, that means one of the numbers is positive and the other one is negative. So this is going to be a plus something times a minus something. So once again, we have to think of two numbers that multiply together to make 15 and add together to make 2. Now why 2? Because remember, when we add a positive and a negative together, we actually subtract. So what are two numbers that multiply together to make 15 and have a difference of 2? Now that's going to be 5 and 3. Because 5 times 3 is 15 and 5 minus 3 is 2. The question is here, where do we put the 5 and where do we put the 3? And the way we figure that out is that we look at the middle term. Since the middle term is negative, then we put our bigger number next to the negative sign and our smaller number next to the positive sign. And the reason for that is positive 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, and 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. So this gives us what we want, and this is the correct answer. All right, moving on to number 3, we have b squared minus 5b plus 6. Notice how the third term is positive. Since the third term is positive, that means we have two numbers that are the same sign. Because positive times positive is positive, and negative times negative is positive. Since our middle term is negative, those two numbers are negative. So we're going to have v minus something times v minus something. So once again now, we have to think of two numbers that multiply together to make 6 and add together to make negative 5. So 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 plus 2 is 5. Since these are both negative, it once again doesn't matter where we put the 3 or where we put the 2. Again, remember, negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6, and negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. So this is our correct answer. All right, so now looking at number 4, we have 4x squared minus 15x plus 14. Seeing that our a value is a number greater than 1, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the diamond method, which I taught you in class, in order to factor this. So remember, we're going to draw this x. In this top section of the x, we're going to put a times c. So that's 4 times 14, that is 56. Then in this bottom section, we're going to put our b value, which is negative 15. Now on the left and the right, we're going to build fractions where the top number is our first term without the exponent. So we're going to have here 4x over something, and here we're going to have 4x over something. So now we need to think of two numbers that multiply together to make 56 and add together to make 15. And that's going to be 7 and 8. 7 times 8 is 56, and 7 plus 8 is 15. And since this is negative, they're both going to be negative numbers. So we're going to put a negative 7 here and a negative 8 here. And it doesn't really matter where you put the negative 7 or the negative 8. Now what we want to do is we want to simplify these fractions. So here we have this 4x over negative 7. We can't simplify this. That's going to stay just the way it is. And over here, we have this 4x over negative 8, and we can divide both of these by 4. So 4x divided by 4 is x, and negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. And so now this is simplified. And these two fractions become our two binomials. So 4x over negative 7 becomes 4x minus 7. And x over negative 2 becomes x minus 2. And so this is our answer. All right, looking at number 5, we have 6m squared 
plus m minus 12. Once again, our a value is greater than 1, so we're going to use the diamond method. So we're going to draw our x. In this top section, we're going to put a times c. 6 times negative 12 is negative 72. In this bottom section, we're going to put b. Our b value here is positive 1. Then we're going to build our two fractions with the first term without the exponent. So 6m over something and 6m over something. So now we have to think what are two numbers that multiply together to make negative 72. Now remember, since this number is negative, that means one of our numbers is positive and the other one is negative. So two numbers that multiply together to make negative 72 that have a difference of 1. When we subtract, we get 1. So 9 times 8 is 72, and 9 minus 8 is 1. So these are our two numbers. Now since this number is positive, our bigger number, 9, will be positive, and our smaller number, 8, will be negative. So we have 9 times negative 8 is negative 72, and 9 minus 8 is 1. So that's how this works. So now we're going to simplify these fractions. 6m and 9 can be divided by 3. This gives us 2m over 3. And over here, 6m and negative 8 can be divided by 2. This gives us 3m over negative 4. And so those are our two binomials. So we have 2m over 3 becomes 2m plus 3. And 3m over negative 4 becomes 3m minus 4. And that's our answer. All right, so this last question here, number 6, is one of the special products we learned about in class, x squared minus 25. Notice that there are only two terms, and they're separated by a minus sign. Also, x squared is a perfect square, and 25 is a perfect square. So this is called a difference of squares. And this factors to an a plus b times a minus b. So... Where does x squared come from? What's the square root of x squared? x. And what's the square root of 25? 5. So this is going to be x plus 5 times x minus 5. And that's our answer. All right, I hope that this review helps you to do well on the quiz. Good luck.